the weekend, love the weekend. It is the weekend actually now. Honestly very happy about because online classes are on the weekend and you know I can't go outside anyway so. Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we have another kind of um, background change as you guys can obviously tell now because I am not in my dorm anymore because of the quarantine in in the world honestly because of coronavirus Emerson and a lot of other schools in the United States have decided to evacuate their campuses for social distancing and just the quarantine in general I've pro I've been in my house for maybe like a week and a half now almost two weeks yeah it's it's hard it's difficult <laughs> yeah but today and in this entire entirety of time that I'm cooped up inside my room I have been thinking a lot on my YouTube and a lot I've been getting a lot of responses and a lot of questions because Emerson released all of their like admitted students and so a lot of people have been like asking me and a lot of prospective students have been asking me questions regarding school Emerson life in Boston and if you guys have not already checked out my series that is in the making actually i'm like very excited but it's called the boston tea party and if you guys haven't checked that out i do that like after this video i interviewed four of my friends with four different majors at emerson and they answered some questions that i had for them regarding college and life in boston emerson you get the the gist now but if you haven't watched that i highly recommend going about watching that after this video in this video i'm basically going to be answering some questions that students may have regarding emerson and you probably if you're not a prospective student well just like honestly just join for the ride you know like everyone's trying to get that college experience somehow right so if you're in high school or you're in college just stay tuned till the end of this video because you may learn something from a little city city school in boston so without further ado let's just get on in the questions <laughs> also i just realized i'm wearing white and like my background is white <laughs> but it's fine uh, i guess it's fine yeah, and it's raining out, so it's a very gloomy day. So the first question I have asked um, that these these questions come from you guys, so I'm not just like spitting out random questions. So the first question is, what classes are you required to take at your first year at Emerson? So I'll just tell you what I took in my first semester and my second semester, what I'm taking right now. So, well, okay. Just to like, for anyone who doesn't know, I am an undergraduate freshman at Emerson College. I am a marketing communications major. I am 18 years old and I'm from upstate New York. So my commute's about um, four hours. I'm very, I'm from a little small town. So like going into Boston was like really like good for me in a way. And I'm like really happy I'm at Emerson, but that's just a little, little background if you didn't know that. <laughs> so as a marketing communications major, your first semester you have to take, or your first year you have to take marketing and marketing communications and then my second semester for my marketing requirement I am taking communication media and society as an Emerson student you have to fulfill your major requirements as well as your liberal arts requirements so for my first semester I also had to take some prerequisites because as a freshman you're basically just taking a lot of prerequisites which are kind of annoying but you have to do them I took speech comm speech communications which is like public a public speech class because I'm a communications major I'm in the communication school at Emerson and so everyone has to take that um, speech Com, public speech, uh, marketing and marketing communications. I took for my interdisciplinary liberal arts requirement, I took culture, the arts and social change. And I loved this class guys. Like if you were in my class and you're watching this, love you. I loved that class. Culture, the arts and social change. And then for my fourth one, I took intro to college writing because you have to take that as well. So, and for my second semester, I'm taking communication, media, and society. I'm taking research writing, which is a requirement. And for my liberal arts requirement, I'm taking cultural economics, which fulfills my economics requirement. And I'm taking American Women Writers, which is a part of my literary perspective requirement. And so that's all of the classes that I'm taking as an Emerson freshman and it's different for every single major so if you have any questions regarding your major then honestly just ask me because I 
or watch my video because I have a lot of friends that are in different majors, so. So the second question that I have received is um, what dorm do freshmen live in? So for all 2019, I and the rest of the freshmen, the 2019 freshmen, were very, very fortunate to have Little Building as the first year residence hall for freshmen. And so Little Building was in, in like the process of building for like a couple years. And so we had the honor of being the first residents to live in the Little Building. And if you see my dorm tour, which I uploaded a week ago, you guys should go check that out. And I have a view of the um, Boston Common and we're right on Boylston Street. Boylston and Tremont, that's like our little like area. All freshmen live in the little building. Um, we have Emerson College is about 3,200 undergrad. And so all of the freshmen, freshmen through your junior year, you have to live on campus, I believe. So all of the freshmen live in the little building. So if you're a freshman going into Emerson, you will have to be living in the little building. We're actually in the process and the midst of applying for housing for next year. And I'm really stressed, guys. And I really want to live in piano row but I'm not sure yet. So the third question I have received is, um, what does the dining look like and is it any good? Okay, <laughs> so we have one dining hall on campus, but we also have um, Paramount Cafe as well as The Max, which both are two like convenience stores on campus. Um, the Max is very popular for those who live in like P Row, Colonial, 2B in the little building. And PCAF is for the students that live in Paramount. But we have one dining center and not gonna lie, it's very nice for a college campus. Like a lot of college students will like complain about the dining. I do complain because yes, it's an inevitable because it's not like a home cooked meal or anything. It's, I would say Emerson's dining is a decent option rather compared to other schools. It's, it's very good. They offer like vegan, they offer a lot of like dietary, it's not bad, but it's options for everyone. So if you don't find something, as the year goes on, you'll find something that you like every day. So the fourth question I have received, can anyone join clubs slash extracurriculars on campus? So, the typical Emerson student is involved in a heavy amount of extracurriculars. The amount of extracurriculars and clubs that Emerson offers is tremendous and honestly like there's a club for literally anything like we have quidditch i didn't involve myself in too many clubs this year in extracurriculars just because i overwhelmed myself in high school and like especially senior year so i wanted to like give myself a chance to realize like all of the classes that i'm taking and just implement myself into the college life more rather than like take extracurriculars and join extracurriculars but i'm in i am in a few ones on campus i am planning on joining more next fall i'm actually planning on going abroad next spring so stay tuned for that but yes anyone can join extracurriculars um emerson is very welcoming and opening to everyone it's very very accepting that's what i really like about and admire about emerson but yes if that answers your question <laughs> so i've also been getting a lot of tips and just like a lot of things for people who are not necessarily people who have got accepted yet or people people that are applying to emerson so i don't want to give like all of my numbers because i don't really like to share like i'm not that person that likes to share their numbers. I just don't really like comparing myself to others, but if I had any tips for applying, for Emerson at least, don't worry too much about your SAT and ACT scores. Worry about your Common App essay. The essay is what really, really like helps the admission process, like I'm pretty sure at least. And so Emerson being a test optional school, my score was actually high in the percentile. So I actually gave them my scores, but there is an option to not submit your scores but you have to write a writing supplement and Emerson students are really heavily involved in English and writing and language and communications which is like really funny because math is my favorite subject everyone is very confused when I tell them that because I'm just like yeah like why are you at Emerson if math is your favorite subject but then everyone's like oh it's because you're a marketing comm major like that that kind of like makes sense a little bit yeah <laughs> for high school students get yourself involved with a ton of clubs and like that's what I did. I had a lot of things on my resume, but if you're worried, don't be too worried about the application process. Spend a lot of time on your essay. 
that is one of like my like really big like things a lot of the students that i've asked like a lot of the freshmen that i have like talked to throughout this year were, were like yeah like we had horrible sat like test scores and everything but i'm pretty sure i got in because of like all of the amount of extracurriculars i did all of the creative aspects of all of the stuff you do because emerson students are very creative and creative minded and artsy thus us being an art school but <laughs> yeah so i would take a lot of time in your essay and take the time to join that club take that time to take that honors class that ap class but yeah if i had any tips it would probably definitely be to strengthen and work on your essay a lot because the essay is what really matters <laughs> okay so this next question is really funny i don't know how much i can say because it's kind of self-explanatory but i won't be as real as possible because that's that's what i'm trying to be and i'm trying to give you guys information and some tours and some guides on the internet may not be extremely like in depth and I definitely, I honestly wish I knew this before coming to Emerson, but it was kind of, I don't know. The question is, um, what do Friday nights look like and what do the weekends look like at Emerson? So this is, this is really like an, this is very, a very good question, honestly, because if you are looking for a party school or really like to get the college experience, like Friday nights, Saturday nights, go out, Emerson's not really the school for you. There's really nothing you can do on campus besides have dorm parties because we don't have like your typical Greek life on campus and like literally our campus consists of like buildings so we can't we don't really have the space to do parties like other universities do luckily there are plenty of schools in boston that do have the space so if you are looking to go out on a friday or saturday night my friends and i would usually or a lot of people like in like the little building that I would see would go out on Fridays and Saturdays, would find places to go at Boston University, Harvard and Cambridge, MIT, like in Austin, which is by the Boston University campus. BC is a little far away, but there may be some stuff there. How could I forget about Northeastern? I don't, I don't even know why I forgot about Northeastern. Emerson's like in downtown, so Boston University is probably the closest you'll find, but Boston University and MIT and Harvard, they have like the, the frats and the university like space to hold parties. So if you're looking to go out on a Friday night or a Saturday night, and usually typically in Boston, Friday nights are the move because Saturday nights are kind of slow, like a little bit, I've learned that. But on Friday nights, you, you, you hardly are gonna find anything on Emerson's campus. It's somewhat frustrating, but then you realize like, yeah, would you rather go out or like stay in? And so that's like the typical mindset of an Emerson student because that's honestly your like your only two options, which is basically just staying in and having like a dorm party or like going out to a fraternity, which you have to find. And luckily I had friends from my high school that um, enrolled in schools in Boston as well. How could I forget about Tufts? I'm sorry, Will. <laughs> But like, yeah, like usually we would have to go out to um, find things to do on the weekend. You will find like what your, what your medium is, what your happy Friday night looks like. And that's how you find friends, honestly. That's how you find your friend group and yeah. So another question, and basically I'm like gonna be just talking about all of these questions because I can just do this for a day on end. The question is, is what does the social life look like on campus? Is it hard to make friends? So actually like, maybe like um, towards the end of first semester and like beginning of second semester, I realized that most of my friends that have like stayed with me were from the students of color pre-orientation that I did, which was before the whole um, freshman orientation at Emerson. So Emerson offered this um, pre-orientation for students of color. And so this was three days, a three day orientation before the actual orientation and I met so many people and these people were my first like friends. So before all of the rest of the students came in, the students that I became close with were the people I met on literally the first, second and like third day and continuing on with orientation. But 
all of like the people that I've considered myself being like close with have done the students of color pre-orientation but those friends have led me to a, a ton of more people which i am very grateful and if you are worried about not making friends trust me you do and you will gravitate toward them because everyone in college like once you get to college everyone's like kind of done with high school drama and so no one's looking for that so everyone's looking for like compatible genuine people and so you will find your friends, trust me, you will gravitate towards them, they will gravitate towards you. Don't be worried because you will find them. So the social life, as I said, there are 900 freshmen and like there's 3,200 undergrad, 900 freshmen in the little building. And it wasn't that hard or difficult for me to like hang out with people. We would have common rooms like kitchens where you can make your own food, like there's a stove and everything. The kitchens and common rooms are very nice in the little building. The social life and getting to know other people is not that difficult for freshmen at Emerson because thankfully, because of the new little, little building, it's very easy for freshmen to like start conversations and just meet new people. If you're worried about the social life, please don't be because eventually you will find your people and they will find you. So a, another question asked, Emerson has the ability to apply for housing that have like theme and special, special interest areas as a selection for housing. And so I know in the little building for us, there was film immersion, which is if you are a film major or into film, I believe you can apply to be on this floor. And that was the 11th floor for us. There's also the theater and performance floor, uh, which is the third floor. There was the fifth floor, which was the non-substance floor. Forget what other floors there were. I, There was like, com I think the seventh floor was like comedic arts and like something else. But personally, I did not um, select for housing in the special area interest selection. I was able to find a roommate before I got on to Emerson and shout out to Gabby if you are able to uh, meet someone before housing comes out and you guys have similar interests but don't be afraid to do the random housing selection because most of the cases they turn out really well. I had the ability to room with Gabby and that was a fun first and second semester. So housing was fun. Little building was really fun. I loved the little building. 12th floor gang. <laughs> okay, so the final question I have to answer for you guys today, and if you have any other questions, please just comment down below. Again, I'd be happy to answer them. But the last question I have to answer for you guys today is, is it really worth it to go to Emerson? So Emerson is, as you guys may know, Emerson is 70,000 tuition undergrad a year without, without financial aid, without scholarships, without any grants. A lot of questions that may arise from going, like your decision to go to Emerson is money. And so if I were to answer the question of, is it worth it to go to Emerson? I would say yes. Emerson, if you are like leaning towards the no spectrum, I would say one of the main reasons, not one of the main reasons, a really good reason for you to enroll into Emerson is not just the education. The education is really very good level and yes, you'll get the, um, the education you'll need. Like I'm getting my bachelor of science in marketing communications. But if you know what you wanna do, say you are becoming a film major, like a VMA and you really want to become an editor or a screenwriter, then Emerson is the place for you. If you know what you want to do, if you have the strive to create and the strive to like learn, then Emerson is right for you. One of the main reasons a lot of people come to the school is to not not only get the education, but to also get the label of the education. Emerson has this really cool thing called the Emerson Mafia, which when you become a part of the school and an alumni, the Emerson Mafia and alumni become like this, like this group of people that always have each other's backs. So say you're in Hollywood and you're a recent college graduate, you are looking and you're a screenwriter, um, you just graduated with um, screenwriting, I mean, I don't even know, like a degree in screenwriting say, and you're, you want to like do something in Hollywood. If you find an alumni of Emerson that's part of a, like a program, the likelihood of them accepting your application other than like someone else, because you have the label of you graduated from Emerson College, you are more likely to get that position 
than someone who doesn't because of the Emerson Mafia and because you have the the label of you're an Emerson student. So I would say if Emerson is really worth it, yes, I really do think Emerson is worth it. For me, personally going in to the application process and finishing it and graduating high school, Emerson was not my top choice, it was my second choice. And I did not get into my first choice and I was like really devastated by this. But as soon as I got to Emerson and as soon as I immersed myself into the culture, into the life and into the education that Emerson has to offer, I thrived as a student and I like I really do think I fit into Boston and I fit in to Emerson's life. I personally do think it's worth it. I do think it is worth it to go and if you are hesitant, if you are a hesitant parent that is very like iffy about sending your child to this school, it has its ups and downs but the ups outweigh the downs tremendously. I won't say there's downs towards this school because there are and there are some things I don't like about this school but the the ups do overweigh the downs. I have soon to realize being a student here and I'm very happy I decided to choose Emerson. So if you're leaning towards the yes option, please, please consider enrolling in Emerson because I I truly love it and I truly just really love it at Emerson. <laughs> so yeah. Where's my water bottle? I really hope this wasn't focused. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, if you, if you have any more questions, follow me on my Instagram and reach out to me. I'd be happy to answer them. So if you guys want any more content from me, I will be releasing more content during this quarantine. Uh, follow me on all of my socials and make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you want to see any of my other Emerson content, I made a ton of vlogs during my first and second semester while it lasted <laughs> and hope you guys are doing well with this quarantine. Please take this time for self-care to help you care for yourself because that is a very, very important thing to do. And I hope you guys are doing well. If you, if you guys ever just need anyone to talk to, please just reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk to you. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.